feel like I've been living under a rock. My life's been a lie. Why have I never heard of this place? One, it's incredibly beautiful. Two, obviously other people have heard of it because it is full of tourists. Don't, don't pass this place up, seriously. Welcome to Ljubljana, Slovenia. I think this is the coldest day that we've had since we started traveling, but we're gonna make the most of it and show you everything that there is to do in Ljubljana. <laughs> it's still a little early. To save as much money as we could, we are staying like 45 minutes outside of the city. So this is quite the peaceful walk to get into town. This is definitely the first time we've stayed in a residential neighborhood. I like it. It's so peaceful. We're coming up to our first bridge. This is the Ljubljana River, also known in the Middle Ages as the Sava River, the same river that we followed the entire time from Croatia all the way into Ljubljana. In the summertime, it's really popular to kayak here. Sadly, we're not gonna be doing that today. I'm fairly certain somebody lives in the middle of this bridge. I saw house plants and curtains. That is the coolest apartment I think I've ever seen. That is awesome. <laughs> I've never seen that anywhere else. We're trying to make our way up to the castle. There is a funicular that you can take to go up. I think it's four euro round trip, but we're cheap, so we're gonna walk. Yep, not worth it. And we just stumbled upon a chandelier in the middle of this intersection. How beautiful. Do you think it lights up at night? I know my video skills just aren't there, but I just want you guys to see where we are at every moment of every day. <laughs> I wish you just could, the cobblestone that we're walking on, every single alleyway. The full perspective. Oh. This is way more beautiful than the funicular. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. As all the great castles go, you gotta go up. Sounds coming from everywhere. It is Sunday, so mass is in session. How long ago were these bricks placed here? Hundreds of years. Walking to the top is completely free. Took us probably 15 minutes. There is a pink church way across the way. Don't think we'll be making it over that far. Did you notice the mountains? Oh yeah, boom. <gasps> no? How the heck did I miss that? I just love looking at castle walls. There's so much history. I feel like they tell a story. Oh, absolutely. It's only 10 euro to get into the castle, but it's 13 for an audio tour. And that's probably worth the extra three euro. Ljubljana's official symbol is the dragon and you'll see them all over the city. I'm not biased, because this is the only thing we've seen so far, but if you had to do one thing in this city, come see the castle. Everybody else is walking around, they've all got their dogs. Perfect. Beautiful. Well, this is a cool funicular, it's all glass. Next, we're gonna head down and hopefully get something to eat. We're getting a little hungry. We're gonna head into the old town. Came upon a dragon shop. 
dragons really are a thing here. Like there's so many stuffed animals and magnets and everything. I love that. This is the most fascinating church door I've ever seen. Just bells going off from all, all over. All the time, the whole day. Oh yeah. Something you have to try is klobasa, what we would call in the States, kielbasa. It's sausage with spicy mustard. We got a little piece of bread. Not quite sure what this white sauce is. Let's try it. I love spicy mustard. This one sausage and a little piece of bread was three euro fifty. Let's try this white sauce. Oh yeah. Do you like horseradish? That's so good. <laughs> I want to try. That was worth this sauce. I don't know what that is. We are slowly but surely making our way to Triple Bridge. Making my way down the first bridge. Just on the other side of Triple Bridge is this pink church. It's the Franciscan Church of the Annunciation. This church has some of the most beautiful frescoes on the ceiling I've ever seen. This is the extent of Triple Bridge. It's really, really pretty. Can't say I've seen anything quite like it in any other city. I'll admit a little less exciting than what I'd planned on, but this whole entire square is worth coming to. This is one of the coolest buildings I think I've ever seen. Super quick Google search told me that that is the Burnick House and it's exactly 100 years old. That's all. <laughs> Apparently you can also ice skate here in the winter. Do you see that? I see the birds flying around here too. This is so cool. I don't know why I'm so impressed with this like slanted spoon, but I am. We stopped at a dumpling restaurant for lunch because they also serve soup, which seems like a national dish here and it's cold, so it sounded great. I ordered the meat and vegetable stew with spoon bread. I had no idea what spoon bread was before I got it. This is the spoon bread. It's like just crumbles of bread. I have no idea how they make this, but it's bread you eat with a spoon. It's made with buckwheat. I do know that. I don't have a whole lot of flavor to it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put it in your soup. But they gave me another piece of bread for the soup. That works too, I guess. Since we're in a dumpling restaurant, we also ordered traditional Slovenian dumplings. Instead of like the pocket filled that you would see in like a pierogi or an Asian dumpling, these are rolled. I ordered the walnut dumplings and Amber got sweet cottage cheese with raisins. The cottage cheese ones are the most traditional and you can get them savory or sweet. This is not like any other dumpling I've had before. I'm really hoping the texture is a little better than what it looks. Kind of chewy, but not too sweet. Very interesting texture. I want to see what this little sugar is on top. Not sugar. I have no idea what that is. It's very gritty, but not sweet at all. I just, I thought it would be sugary and it's, it's like almost like a crunchy bread or something. That's delicious. It's like a soggy bread, not soggy, like a, like a pudding bread. Mine's really good. Not too sweet, but still dessert-like. Yeah, that was a good choice. What's the stuff on top? Not a clue. All of that was 14 euro 25 cents. Not the cheapest, but also not the most expensive. Although there was no set plan for today's adventures, 
All you have to do is just show up in a city and walk around and you will never be disappointed. Always go to the old town, check out some of the churches, find a good place to eat, and you'll be all set. I talked about kayaking being a thing, but apparently pedalboarding is too. And it's not too cold to do it. What is in this drain thing? It's all these faces. This is peculiar. This is the love bridge. Oh. <laughs> Most cities where you put locks on a bridge, they will cut them off because it destroys the bridge and it looks like they seem to embrace it here. Definitely. Wow. Look at, and it's all like organized. Look yeah. at this. There must be thousands of locks here. This is the Dragon Bridge. Nothing more special than that, other than the fact that it's got four dragons on each corner. And the dragon, like we said earlier, is the symbol of Ljubljana. What is the purpose of these vehicles? Like, honestly, I want to know. Pretty sure we could road trip in this, though, if we had to. But we can't fit in the front seat. Oh, yeah, we could. There's plenty of space for both of us. Oh, OK. Yeah. Let's make it happen. Another thing you should try in Slovenia is the wine. We are going to get mold wine, which is a hot, spiced wine. Okay, thank you. Okay, we just learned that this is mostly a Christmas drink, and we have the last two that this cart made. He's talking literally the last two of the entire season. Today was the last day they were gonna sell it and we just emptied the container. So, I it hope it's smells, good. It smells like apple pie. Interesting. If you've ever had apple pie moonshine, it tastes like that, but with wine in it also. It's not as sweet as apple pie moonshine, at least not the ones I've tried, but it's almost like hot cider but a little more... A little more whiny. Yeah, whiny. <laughs> These were a three euro a piece. This is great. This is exactly what we needed right now. Great way to end the day. At this point, we are gonna head back to our Airbnb. So today we saw a castle, some churches, a couple of bridges, and had some pretty good food. Oh yeah. I guarantee we did not show everything Ljubljana has to offer, but we both really, really enjoyed this city. If you take away anything from this video, visit the castle at the top of the hill, visit Triple Bridge, and eat anything you see, anything and everything. Coming up next, we've got a train ride into Vienna, Austria, where we will be staying in the coolest hostel in the entire city. If you got any value out of this video at all, click the like button. If you want to watch our journey in Vienna and beyond, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to support us even further, go to our description, go to our website and our Patreon page. We just picked up postcards for all of our top tier patrons and you can get one of these every single month. Please and thank you. There's a pink church across the way, do you see it? Yes, that's one of the churches we gotta see. Really? Yep. How are we gonna get over there? Fly? With our two little legs. For perspective, that church way oh. over there. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, I don't know if we're gonna make, make that one. <laughs>